What the heck? So I saw something trending, but then it moved when I went to hover over it. But I think someone else linked the thing that is the thing that I was looking for. Some new Google thing? We'll have to watch it. But first, I need to finish prepping the yogurt. The music today is a little more gloomy, a little more spooky, a little more moody, perhaps even. Um. Yeah. I have imported the fall slash spooky playlist without having updated them at all, really, so it's probably a mess. Uh, but it's a low priority, so what are you gonna do? It's October 2nd. We gotta, we gotta get it going. Honestly, probably should have started running the, uh, fall playlist a little earlier in September here, but whatever. From what I remember, the fall playlist is very small and not really worked on, so probably not the worst thing to have saved it for now and then mixed it with the other one. There's also some long form mixes that I could probably add in that would be good too. Or potentially switch to sometimes. I know there were some from last year. But yeah, that's a thing. But what the hell is this? Oh, that needs to be fixed. <laughs> right. Whatever. Gboard bar version? What the hell is that? The hell is that? I don't know. I'm gonna find out though, I guess. At the same time, what's the Patriots score? You know, sometimes you gotta make sacrifices as someone that is streaming. Sometimes you gotta sacrifice not watching the game. But, not that hard of a sacrifice when the main quarterback is injured and you have the backup plan. Look, I love the Hoyer the Destroyer as much as anybody, but I gotta make sacrifices, so it is what it is. That said, yesterday was a day. I'm pretty sure I'm allergic to cats. I was pretty sure I was already, but now I'm like, quite sure. Maybe not all cats, maybe it's a specific kind of cat. I don't know, maybe it's just my aunt's house. I don't know what it is. Every time I go there, it feels like in the past five years, I always get like a bit of a stuffy nose and whatnot. But this was bad. When I got home, my throat was closing up. So that was kind of... Not in like a closing up I can't breathe away, but more like a closing up hurts to swallow away. So not fun. Uh, it's mostly gone now, so that's good. But, you know. I guess it's an excuse I don't have to, I can always say I can't have a cat. Whatever. For people that have cats. Anyway, what the hell is this Gboard bar vision version thing? Yeah, my face is blocking the text. Also, the text is like going off the screen. This is a really weird layout. Maybe I'll just do this for the moment. This is a very strange. The video is like not wider than the thing, but the text is wider, and I don't know how I'm supposed to... I, don't, I know you can move it up and down, but I don't think you could like... crunch it. I don't know. キーの次に何があるのかを見るべきなんじゃないかという
Google Japan。一般的なキーボードのキーが棒状に一列に並んでいます。キーを実装する16枚の基板と1枚のコントロール基板の計17枚の基板を直線上に並べて接続します。全長は1600ミリメートルを超えます。幅はわずか 0.064 メートルなので、書類が山積みされているような狭い机の上。This isn't like a April Fool's upload. It's. プロトタイプでは約2400ミリメートルの長さでしたが、短くコンパクトにすることに成功しました。心に刺さりやすい形を追求したら、自然とこうなりましたね。冒険しすぎという声もありましたが、長いものには耐えてはいけないと。無用の長物にはしたくないという思いもありますね。G ボード、ボーバージョンは今までのキーボードの問題点も解決します。あれ、あのキーどこだったっけ？と広いキーボードの上を探すことも多かったのですが、このキーボードだと。It is very c o n f u s i n Okay, this has to be a joke, but like, why? Why did they upload this? 16個目が G っていうのがすぐに分かって便利ですね。私は長さで覚えちゃいましたね。23センチのところが。今まで大変だった掃除もブラシを人なでするだけ、猫に踏まれることもなくなり、テレワークにも最適です。このキーボードならもう踏まれることはないですね。これからのキーボード界の希望となるように開発しました。さまざまなシチュエーションにもご利用いただけます。パーソナルスペースが確保されますので、作業に集中しやすくなります。2人で連弾使用すれば、開発スピードも。Dude, it's perfect for a scene in a movie or a TV show where the hacker is working and then some other guy comes and helps him hack at the same time like this. Oh, my God. 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 転ばぬ先の杖として安心ですプロジェクトの峠も楽に越えられます末永く使っていきたいですねあなたの新しい相棒 G ボード4バージョンで素敵な入力生活を、so、They have a check mark and it's Google Japan though I don't understand How it I don't under <laughs> Everything has lost all meaning. Out of here, dude. Hi, RPV. The stream lagging? It shouldn't be. Anyway, that wasn't even the video we were gonna watch. That was, uh, you missed a strange, strange thing. What you missed. But whatever. Anyway, I still have to eat. Let's do. I was originally going to do this bizarre paths thing. But I'm thinking instead maybe we try this one. Return my serve, win $100. How hard is it to receive? Okay. This looks like it'll be fine. This is probably a pro or pro ish ping pong player YouTuber guy. She's holding that completely wrong, I feel. Anyway, how hard is it to return his serve? Let's find out. We have a pro table tennis. Also, of course, gotta link it in chat because we appreciate Mr. Pongify. I believe that was the name, right? Pongfinity. I'm sorry, Pongfinity. Serve. We challenged 20 strangers, and if they received our serve, they got $100. Make sure you watch until the end to see how many could do it. Our first challenger. Three chances, and all you gotta do is get Three one chances. serve back. Three chances. Yeah, he looks like he can play. I'm ready. <laughs> oh. That didn't seem that hard. No! Oh, come on. Thanks, man. Good try. Thank you. First challenger, no service back. Okay, you ready for this? Yeah, no. oh. <laughs> She's not even in a stand. She's not even holding it well. Ooh. Wait, wait. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no! 
<laughs> One on the table, hundred dollars. Okay, okay. You know okay. what serve you're gonna do? I think I have a good serve. What? Oh, that's that was a sweet one. That guy did his serves way harder than the first guy. Thank you. <laughs> you owe me a hundred dollars. Yeah. That's not how it works, lady. <laughs> oh, close. Okay, one more. One more. Ooh. Ooh. Old guy. I don't know. Old guy. Maybe. Yeah. We're getting it back on the table. So the first serve. See, he's at least got a technique here. He's trying. Oh. oh to give you a number one, sir. Yeah. Oh! Hey! Good job. Good job. Have a bottle of wine on me tonight, okay? You gotta get your prize. All right. Yeah. Here you go. Oh. If you prefer our own table tennis racket. I'm out for a run. Do you think I can run with this? Yeah, just yeah, stick it up. The what a top bloke. <laughs> Want to give it a go? We've got our next it, contender. Yeah, my eyes are 52 years old. It's okay. humming over there. Okay, that's nice. Yeah. You. Okay, I hit it. Is it still coming on this side? Maybe. Oh, shoot. Okay. <laughs> oh. Hey, she, at least she's making oh, contact. Thank you. That was Thanks. Fun. You did well. We have to get some more challengers. We're going to pull out the sign. Let's go put it on the road so people find it. Anybody who's gonna go through this will be coming over. I'd accept the challenge. Do you wanna come and challenge us? I'll do oh, it. Yeah. If you get one of them on the table, you get $100. Oh! It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> that was the first one. That's two. Oh she's, she's pointing it down. You gotta. That is putting a spin on it. <laughs> I'm gonna serve it in Don't the middle. Don't tell me anything. <laughs> <laughs> hey! <laughs> I mean, he told her exactly where it was gonna be. And that was a crazy receive. <laughs> the dance, okay, respect, respect. And it was a good receive. Respect, respect. Thank you. Say one serve, you'll get one hundred dollars. I want you to respond to my serve first. Ooh. A contact? Yeah. yeah, old man's too slow. Oh. Uh. How do you say thank you in Finnish? Kitos. 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 Okay. Live is in the house. I'm a local celebrity, and I'm here to make my hundred dollars. Who's this guy? I don't want this to be in kroners or whatever, or yen or whatever they do over there in Finland. Okay, I want real money, U.S. dollars, baby, Benjamins, right? We're gonna do this, hundred dollars. If I do, I can't tell if this is just like a the Omega stereotypical American or if like repeatedly. This is a known guy. It'd probably be easier if I was on the other side. You want to come? No, you want home field advantage? I'll give it to you. Oh. These guys are good. Is it legal? Oh, close. Oh! You know what? Only three chances is kind of hard. Thank you, thank you. You guys are trying to get my kids up here. Keep bringing relatives up here until I get a hundred dollars out of you. I'm so excited. I've been wanting to play with you guys for so long. I found out you guys lived in Finland, and I was like, this is never gonna happen. Here is your racket. Oh. oh. <laughs> no, I'm gonna do it. Okay. All right. Okay. I don't know who this guy is, but. <laughs> just, just look at the guy. Uh, well, two more tries left. But now you got the real racket. Oh! oh. oh. It's, gonna, it's gonna come in a little hot. That's all. Just tap it over. A little hot. <laughs> First one. Well. Oh, God. Oh, but you hit it. That was pretty close. Thanks. That was fun. I don't know why something about this video is just like because 
it's it's like ping pong, right? These guys just put a ping pong table up. In the Pacific Palisades neighborhood. There you go. Oh, nice. Oh. See, some of them do it a lot harder than the others is the thing. You got to get the right guy. Oh. <laughs> Here's your racket. Good, good. Practice. Oh. oh. <laughs> <laughs> Free swinging. You're in the right place. Oh, yeah. oh, good tries. This guy is the one that's done the easiest serves. I feel like he's the one that owns the channel and is like, someone needs to win or else the video is like not interesting. Oh. Okay, your turn. Ooh. They hit like. Hit it. Oh, oh, clean too. That was like a clean, not like a lopped it up. Congratulations. Don't give it to you then. <laughs> it was so sunny and now it's like freezing cold yeah. here. It's like Finland. Yeah, I think we'll have to wrap things up now. All right, until next time. That was fun. That was a fun little adventure. I don't. It does seem like they probably turned it off, it off and on in terms of being a, uh, you know, all out difficulty and whatnot. But you gotta respect it. Like the guy doing the crazy curves or the super speed ones. Red shirt was doing crazy the crazy curves. Black shirt was doing the super. Speed. Other shirt guy was like an in between. You got boomers today. You've had your parents this whole time. What are you talking about? I know you're talking about food. Anyway. Um. Was it good? Or what did you get, I suppose? Yellow shirt was mild shots. Yeah, he was the, the one making it easy. Well, they kind of needed to, or else no one would have just... No one would have been able to hit one back. I don't know what a blue cow in zone means. What I do know is I'm going to put this bowl away, and then... Game time. Buffalo chicken and blue cheese. I suppose that makes sense. I suppose that makes sense. So I said this earlier, but I don't think anyone was here yet. Yesterday, doing the apple picking adventure with cousins and such as usual it was a good time, but uh. I've been suspecting over the past however many years, probably like five to seven, that I might have some sort of allergy. Maybe to cats, maybe to something else. Because it seems like every time I go to one of my aunt's place, she has cats, but she also has dogs and birds and stuff. The point is, my mom has been allergic to cats my entire life. I have never had a problem with cats. Until, well, I still don't know. Cause like, I still can like pet some cats and I don't have any issues. Like if I see a neighborhood cat strolling out and it's a nice one and will let me pet them, I pet them and I have no issues. But whenever I would go into the aunt's house and you know, we're hanging out in there for a while, my mom usually ends up getting like a stuffy nose or a little uh, dizzy or whatever But I was I the last few several times that I've been in there feels like I also kind of get a stuffy nose 
And yesterday, I definitely got a stuffy nose. So I'm thinking I might be allergic to cats. But like, it, I don't know what it is because just petting it, it's fine. Petting cats outside is fine. I've never had a problem with that. But maybe it's just like inside because there's maybe a lot of fur or something. I'm not, I have no idea. I can't figure it out. I don't know. But what happened that was different from every other time was by the time we got home, it was actually weird because it was just the nose. And then once I got home, then like 30 minutes after I got home, my throat was like closing up a little. Like, you know, when it's uh, sort of painful to swallow. I had that going on and I'm like, what the hell? Why wouldn't that have happened there the whole time? Did I like somehow swallow like a piece of fur or something? Like I didn't, I couldn't, I don't understand. But it was not a good time for the rest of the evening while I was here, which is why I didn't get much done. And it was still even, I still have a li I could still feel a little bit right now when I'm talking, but it's mostly better. I don't know. But yeah, spooky game. I'm hoping it works, which uh, is not a confidence building statement, I realize. I realize that's not a confidence building statement. I think I might need to close tabs on this stuff. Well. We'll see. Game is launching. EXE is not responding. That just means it's loading. It's a Unity-based game. And I don't mean that like a Game Jam game. I just, I literally saw the Unity logo as it's loading here. You hear that spookiness? <laughs> you hear that spookiness? The rain is red for October. That's pretty sweet, actually. Mm. Fiddler's Wood. Change category to games and demos. My concern is volume. Not sure what, uh, because right now we're just on the menu, like on the starting. Like this seems a little loud, don't you think? It looks like it's very close to the level of my speaking. But I think I probably want to make it like softer. You can tell me if that's a crazy idea, but I don't know. It seems like it's a, Probably be like half like that. I had to do that with like the Windows volume mixer. And the RAM is like semi I wouldn't know I wouldn't know if I would say it was high, but it's definitely not low. Uh, but let me close some more tabs to try and alleviate that you don't know if you've seen this game before i would be kind of surprised if you had honestly i would be a little bit surprised if you had that helps i can close those tabs i think we're in a better place now Oh, the look away for 20 seconds stopped going for some reason. So let's do that right now. Reset that. Look away for 20 seconds. So does that mean you already ate your uh, blue calzone? Or, or did you have it for lunch? I will admit, and if I don't know if you noticed, 
but I was not eating the normal pasta with broccoli cauliflower because there wasn't enough time to make it. Like, I would have had to delay another 20, 30 minutes. So, I guess the plan is I did the yogurt today and then tomorrow. Usually, Pat, I do yogurt, but tomorrow I'll try and do the broccoli stuff. Broccoli pasta, cauliflower thing. If Hopefully I remember. I think that's the most likely case. If I don't do it, the reason would be because I forgot and already took out the yogurt. But we'll see. Late lunch. Let's start, I guess. Okay, we crashed. Oh god. I have a feeling I might not last long in this game because of like dizziness. This is my car. Oh man. Sensitivity is also Okay, so I can sprint. Oh, I gotta sprint this way. I can sprint with the uh, shift button. Dude, I do not like the, like, the bouncing. I don't like that. Okay, I can't go that way. Can I run off here? No, I gotta run down the street. I really hate the way that the thing bounces. I read what this says. Coil fiddly air. Fiddlers wood. That looks like a fan blocking our way. I like don't want to sprint because it's dizzying. Okay, I can't go that way. This is a dumpster, okay. Go up here then. E. An empty store, huh? Well, the store is not empty, but the there's no people in it. I can seemingly not read any of this. What are these little dudes? They look like Saint, like little leprechaun guys. They're like <laughs> leprechauns with big noses. Oh god. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna last long. This is getting dizzy. That's suspicious. Why did that close? Uh... Why am I outside now? <laughs> okay. What is this? Can't read what that says. If it says anything at all. I feel like we gotta go this way. Okay. That's not good. I can turn the flashlight off. Probably. No? Quiet. Why is this already lit up? Probably where I need to go.
Uh oh. So many eyes. Sound of that. Dude, I thought that thing was moving. Bush, right? Yeah. Where we fire? Okay, okay. I don't want to turn the flashlight on and attract something. Oh, Jesus. Follow the light. Okay, okay. I feel like following what a spooky message says is probably not a good idea, but I am keeping the flashlight off. Also kind of, I'm kind of trying to hide behind the trees. As I follow the light. Look. Sometimes I'm sprinting, sometimes I'm not. Hmm. <clears throat> Let me just get us some water. How about that? I just just a little thirsty, you know. I was running into a tree. Yeah. <laughs> I don't want to turn the flashlight on. I feel like as soon as I turn the flashlight on, there's going to be a fucking thing in my face and jump scare me. It, I don't want that to happen, but I also feel like I've been following the light for a while now. And I'm not really sure what's going on. I feel like this is a long time to follow the light, right? Come on, man! What the fuck? Am I doing something wrong? Okay, multiple trees there. Okay, okay. This is a big opening, and I don't like that. Okay, we're following the light still. The light is definitely moving around a lot. I don't know what that's supposed to be. I don't... Oh, what am I supposed to do? Dude, I swear to God, I saw somebody moving. Okay, we got a light. Oh, there's a person. Oh my God. Oh my God, dude. Fuck. You all right, man? Don't listen to the whispers. 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 I don't like that. Okay, 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 okay.
Sometimes I can't tell if a pillar of light is a pillar of light or if it's like a tree getting lit up. I don't want to press the F key. Oh god. Okay. Is it getting hot in here? Is it getting... Anyone feel like it's getting a little hot in here? Looking for any signal of where to go. I'm just walking in a random direction now. reason I'm like turning the light off and on is because I'm looking to see if there's anything lit up to sort of guide my direction Jesus Christ that's a dead guy hanging in the sky and there's another one is that a dead guy hanging or is it a floating guy Guessing it's a dead guy hanging. I really don't want to walk up to it though. I feel like I'm supposed to. You're gonna tell me something? No. Okay, I guess I'm just. I guess I'm supposed to just keep walking and act like that's not. Okay, there's another one. And another one. And two more. Feel the shoes, I wish. I'm running, I'm running, I'm running, I'm running, I'm running. I keep seeing more people hanging in the sky. I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like it. There, that's too many. Wait, I know this building. Uh-oh. Hey there, man. What? Have you seen that shadow? With the wings? Oh, Jesus Christ. Ignore that for a moment. Can I go into the back? I cannot. Okay. You, uh, went all right there, okay. Oh, now we know it was making that bug noise the whole time. Um. Now that noise is a lot more sinister than just some bugs in the woods. Oh, it's an invisible wall. I thought that was my route to escape. I am in building. Okay. 
Kind of hugging this wall. Uh, I don't know. Some level of comfort, I guess. Now I'm running. Now I'm running. Not seeing any dead bodies hanging out. Got that going for me. Okay. Just hear that shit? Well, I think we know what we gotta walk towards. Fairies? I don't know why that didn't scare me at all, but it didn't for some reason. But I think we just got killed. I'm okay. I don't know if that means I won. <laughs> I don't know what that means. Oh, fuck. Okay. Hold on a moment. The uh, <clears throat> let's take a take a moment to breathe there. Part of me hopes it was that short because otherwise uh, I was starting to get pretty dead. The graphics plus movement plus etc. Sort of want to take a gander to see if I missed anything. You walk, you see guy, you follow lights, you follow lights, you follow lights. Get back to the house eventually. Hold on. I'm playing a video, but I don't want to. Well, I'm trying to play a video, but YouTube. Wow, he got the- oh, there's a person on the ground. That's not- that was not there for me. Or maybe it was and I didn't see it. Then he's here. There's the dud dead inside. Then Mothman. That's spooky. Turn around. Walk out. Walk to the fairy Mothman. And then that's the game. Okay, so I think I actually did kind of hit most of the notes there. I think there was a body when we went to the house the second time there was a body next to the stairs that was like on its knees and stuff that i didn't notice because we came from a, a different angle okay that was that was a spooky atmosphere the atmosphere Honestly, what was the scary? Was the scariest part me accidentally walking right up to a, a body that I didn't realize was a body? Oh, so I am going to delete it. Not really. It also save some space. That really gave me a headache, though. All right, let me look look for the uh, 20 seconds. But yeah, I did not get to work on like the ROM hack that I discussed. So, my concern is that I think the second game, you can kind of tell from the the Twitter picture, 
at least, that I wouldn't say it's the same art, but you know, it's like a another sort of I don't know what you call this this type of like style. Although it looks better lit, which is better for me probably in regards to dizziness, but I feel like it still will make me dizzy. Oh, man. That was a good atmosphere setter, though. That was a good atmosphere setter. Um. It looks deceiving. Because it looks like bright and colored, but I'm pretty sure it gets a little crazy. I could be wrong. Just, uh, that looks a little spooky. Craziness. Try to find all the new stuff. I, I don't... I don't know what the word is for this art style, where it's like... The saying just old doesn't feel right. Saying just old doesn't feel. Oh, fucking, fucking fuck though. Also, I can feel my throat is. I haven't talked basically the entire day. That has been good for recovering the. What I think is an allergy issue. But, uh. Not great. The throat. We are... The Patriots are winning? 10-7. That's surprising. Okay, let's try this game, though. Let's give it a shot. Uh... Alright. Uh, we want... Windows? So this one I didn't have downloaded already. I think this is supposed to be emulating... PS1 style. Or something around that area of time. That's what I've gathered. I could be wrong. Could be wrong. But okay, I gotta, I got to, uh, you know, do a good old Windows extraction. Dude, you know, I'm, I'm excited about this song being back. The Pokemon Unite Halloween song. It was a bang. A good song. Are you done extracting? You is. Okay. All island woes. All right, let's pause the music. Okay. Attempt to launch this. See if we can make it happen. Peepo fat. Why peepo fat? Uh, hold on. Uh, game window. Oh, you missed the very beginning of it. All it did was say, um... All it did was, it said, like, week six or something. Or six weeks, I forget. What I do want to check is, uh... Did it tell me what the controls are? It does not. So we'll have to figure it out, I guess. 
Okay. Oh, hello. Okay. Checking in on that lighthouse again, I see. Yes. Yes, I am. Okay, so left click is to, like, interact, I guess. Oh, hello. Checking in on that I just gotta check to see if there was another... Another, uh, you know... Message. I cannot jump. I cannot crouch. I open doors. I cannot. It does not seem as though I can sprint. Hello, cat. Talk to cats. I cannot sneak through there. Hello. Welcome back to the island. Welcome back to the island. Thank you. My girlfriend. Would you like an apple? Would you like an apple? Yes, I would like an apple. I have an apple? Would you like an apple? Yes. Full of delicious looking apples. Open. Waste of wood. They don't make them like they used to, you know? They really like it here. Wait, who's the orange haired bloke? Is that me? Where do I want to go? Go this way? Not much of a reader. I don't see any books. I never stay overnight, huh? Okay. What about this? Came with the house? Alright. No drawers here, right? Won't let me open it. Can I open anything here? Open drawer. Close drawer. Can I do this, the lower one? I can. No, no, no. Malls Island. Okay. Built to last. Thought that was a person's head at first. It cannot go this way, apparently. Oh, I fell off. Streamer has fallen off. What are these blue things? Okay. I'm okay. Um, I'm like a lighthouse checker. Back to the boat. Okay. She said something different that time. We have plenty. Have you seen my dog? She's we know what the dog looks like from the painting. But I haven't seen the dog. Can't go inside nothing. Okay. Talk to this guy. See ya, pal. Be careful out there. See ya. Have a good one. Oh, hope you catch a, uh... Some nice con. Or something. Week 35. So we first was week 6. Week 35, huh? How's it going? Oh, 
Back at it again. Aren't you tired? No, I'm just, I mean, I'm getting paid, right? It's my job, after all. Suspicious. That's me clicking that. What is that? That red thing. Looks like a necklace, kind of. Was the tree always that red? Please let me know if you see my dog. I heard Please you the first let me time. Know if you see my dog. Nothing. Can you examine the tree again. Feels like it never runs out of apples, huh? Why don't you want any of the apples? I do want the apples! The game won't let me. Oh, hello. There's an eaten apple. You think the dog died? True. Is the songs different? Doesn't feel. Oh. The kid insisted I take it. What is that? Feather? Oh. I was like, open the bottle. Yeah, I want to do that. He's sad now. Why is it saying he's smart? He's sad and the dog is missing from the picture. I am getting dizzy though, by the way. Book? Why do I even keep a journal? I should quit. I would like to take the candle. Maybe? The sheets are soft and warm. Why would I keep a journal here if I never stay over the night? To convince everyone it needed some work. I'm getting dizzy. I'm getting dizzy. Makes me hot. Just a bit of dust. Back to the boat. Everyone loves our apples. Alright, now she is getting a bit creepy, I'll, I'll add. Bella. She's small. Red collar. Red collar. We saw the collar. Remember? It's over here. Wait, no, not here. Over here. Uh oh. The dog is probably dead. Well, I hope it was worth it. Why you say it like that? Well, I hope it was worth it. I don't trust that guy. Trust that guy. 134? So 100 weeks later? That's like two years. Isn't it? Alright, well, dude's fucking glowing. And there's a purple thing over there. So this is... Likely not good. Act like that lighthouse is more valuable than human life, including yours. Yeah, yeah, man. Uh, cool. Don't uh. Fuck is 
that purple thing. Hmm. Okay, the cat is evil. You've been bitten and scratched. Something keeps attacking me at night. Okay. Something is attacking you at night. That's that's normal. You have also been attacked and you look terrified. This hasn't happened before. Oh no, the apples are all messed up. Deep red color. Bugs on around the apples. Alright, at some point the music is gonna get creepy. There's more apples. More apples. Please. It is slowing down, I was right. It is slowing down. Oh. Hey, it's a chip and a bottle's coming together. Okay, who is this guy? And how is the... First of all, there's no one to the left of the picture. Not including the boy, there was someone to the left before. Now the boy's gone. And there's a bunch of purple on the trees. The basket of apples in his hand and to the left. The crab is left unfazed. Animals don't survive here on... I didn't say that before. That is not the same color it was. Okay, come on, man. I don't remember half of any. All right. Been making the bed. Good, uh, good question. I feel like I shouldn't go over here. Okay. Let's, uh, move on. There's a creepy hand that, uh, just went under the bed, you know? Why haven't I taken this down? It didn't need any maintenance, again. Hold up. Fuck, I didn't- I feel like I saw something up there. I'm not feeling well. Yeah, you think? You think? Be careful. It isn't safe here anymore. Okay. Then why don't you leave too? So some of this purple shit is a problem. It's just a matter of time before your little boat takes I knew I can't I don't trust this guy. It's just a matter of time before your little boat sinks to the bottom of the ocean. What did I do to you, huh? Problem. That guy's problem. So it's 160 weeks later? I can't tell if that purple thing looks bigger or not. This guy doesn't look that different. Right? His eyes are a little funkier. Heard someone go to the lighthouse a moment ago. <coughs> This still looks the same, actually. Cat is similar. I think I know what happened to Bella now. Yeah, I think so too, buddy. Um, there's purple over there now, which there wasn't before. What do you mean, no? Examine the apples, no? Did, do you 
hear them? Voices. No. Red footprints and or blood. Oh, Jesus. The machine, question mark. I can hear it faintly uh, rattling, if you can. Perfect time to look away for 20 seconds, right? Hmm. Perfect, perfect time. He does hate my guts, though. I don't know what his deal is. How are these people living anyway? I guess it's a guy's fishermen fishing. A guy is fishing. And then there's apples and that's like the food on the island. Lotta. Okay, how slow? Lotta a lot of apples. Guy in here. I probably shouldn't have that playing, huh? Would help. See the 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 ship in the bottle is almost done. I don't really understand the cat fishing thing. The guy in the picture is gone. Why am I saying who is that? There's more books. Where did my time go? Am I the baddie? Like, what's going on here? Am I secretly the bad guy? I'm terrified. Well, that's... That painting's not the same. That didn't look like that before. Blood on the stairs. Machine looks pretty fucked up. What is that up there? I saw that last time, but I don't. Can't really put together what the hell that is. I guess I'm checking it. It's looking after itself now? What does that even mean? What does that even mean? Maybe I could travel someday? What do you mean, maybe I could- I am traveling. I hear them every day now. Oh god. Can you help me? Please? Dude, did you help me? Dude, he said please an extra time. That's creepy. All right, what kind of what kind of backhanded remark are you gonna make this time, huh? There are many, and they are all after you. I mean, if they're all after me, why do they let me leave and take a hundred weeks in between? Week six hundred. I don't even know what that number is. Fuck it. All right, well, what the fuck is that? I don't know if I ever really looked this way enough to know if there was something there before. Oh, they're in the sky. They're also in the sky. They're all they're fucking. All right. Apparently, are you even old? You're gonna die just for the sake of going through the motions, huh? Um, I guess. Hey, what's going on, buddy? Is that a dinosaur? Can I talk to these things? What is that yellow? Oh, that's a bush. 
Um. All right. It'll knock them. Oh. Oh. Rocking chair is still good though. Those are those eyeballs. That's the cat. The cat talks now. Okay. Okay. Uh, it's ripe. No. You hear the buzzing of flies coming from the woman and the apples. The apples are groaning. Okay. said to leave. That's an eyeball. Okay. That's an eyeball. That's an eyeball. That's the dog's collar. Dot, dot, dot. Maybe it isn't too late. Even the crab? Worthless. Okay, dude. It's moist. The job. I just have to. That's like a body or something. Okay, let's keep it moving. Let's keep it moving. Okay. I, uh, I knew there was gonna be something there eventually, you fucking motherfucker. Just a husk. I fucking knew there was gonna be something there. There is blood dripping down. That's... Well, that's good. Okay, it's not blood? How am I checking this? Huh? Back to the boat. Yeah, let's... Back to the boat. <sighs> let's go back to the boat. The apples are deafening. Thanks for not snitching on me to the kid. Yeah, I got you, cat man. Yeah, d definitely. Good riddance. Okay, wait, what the? F that wasn't there before? That's new. Hey. The buildings are like is alive now. Do that bell. Ding. I don't think there's anything left to do. Pressing buttons doesn't seem to do anything else. Whew. Um, yeah. 
Nothing else seems to do anything, so... I guess I have to, like, all that four or something? I'm not really sure. Oh, man. Uh, I was supposed to It's our job. We just have to do it, you know? There's a secret ending that apparently we didn't see, maybe? Oh, what was that again? Alright, I don't want to hear your voice, I'm not gonna lie. Okay, little secret, uh, Checkerino here. Looking for, uh, any stuff? Get a little spooky. Get very spooky. And okay. That video did not help. I'm looking to see if there's a video that says there's a secret ending. Sorry, I'm I'm just looking to see if there was and no no uh looks like no one knows what what the secret ending is or at least no one wrote about it after the Some good spookiness for sure in both of those games kind of similar in the f the way that they're just like you walk around and interact i don't know why the fisherman was such a jerk though like what did i like what's his problem you know i don't even know how there could have really been a secret ending it was pretty much clicking everything Unless maybe there was a way to interact with that fucking giant enemy thing on the uh, dock at the end. Could be wrong. I tried to interact with most stuff though. Oh, you know what I need to do? I need to do a summary for all the stuff in September. Let me write a note for myself to that. A September summary. And then, um, I think it's time for a stretch break, apple break, slash D, um, dizziness session of sorts. That's in order. I'm gonna go to the bathroom first, grab apple. Slightly refill the water. Come back. And then after that, though, we're kind of free because I didn't, um, I had no idea how long these games would be. And I, like I said, I wasn't able to finish preparation of the ROM hack stuff. So we're kind of free to do whatever. Whether that's Super Auto Pets or other, or if I can convince Sam and Mari to do Unite or something, but not a bad start to uh, October, right? A bad start. Short one, some spooky atmosphere stuff. 
stuff that most people probably have. I would think. Either way, though. Definitely time for bathroom. And uh, all that other stuff. I'll be back momentarily. We know your time is valuable. Thank you for holding. Someone will be with you as soon as possible. Your time is valuable. Thank you for holding. Someone will be with you as soon as possible. We know your time is valuable. Thank you for holding. Someone will be with you as soon as possible. Your time is valuable. Thank you for holding. Someone will be with you as soon as possible. We know your time is valuable. Thank you for holding. Someone will be with you as soon as possible. That must have been really loud. Not bad. I was... I'm not even gonna bother explaining myself. <sighs> okay, so... Whew. Changed myself back to just chatting for a moment here, but... The good thing about apple picking yesterday was that it's just nice. It's nice to just yoink from a tree and just fucking <laughs> chomp on that shit. It just, it hits different, you know? It just be hitting different. Now that said, talking about hitting different, I actually have no idea how that segues, but we have a video from Practical Engineering, I believe, which I think they're great. I like, sh I like watching some of their videos on stream they're educational and whatnot. It was not rained out, thankfully. It was not rained out. It was just cloudy. It was a cloudy day. But it wasn't an issue. And, uh, yeah. The bizarre paths of groundwater around structures, I guess, is what we're learning about. Unless we find it boring. Who knows? But, I don't know. Usually their videos are pretty, pretty interesting. And hopefully they don't uh, try to kill me. I feel like most of the educational YouTube people are okay with watching their videos on stream. Except for like Tom Scott, I guess. Just cause like, I don't know. They teach you about stuff. It's nice. I'd like to learn things and I'd like other people to also learn things cause learning is cool. That said, stretch time. And learning about paths of groundwater. In 2015, an unusual incident happened on the construction site. Fuck Tom Scott. Well, I, I don't go that far. Tom Scott still does some pretty interesting stuff. 
I, mean, I don't know about that. I don't know about fuck Tom Scott. I mean, unless he did something, I don't know. As far as I know, he just hates Reddit and that hates streamers watching his videos. That's all I know. For a sewage lift station in British Columbia, Canada, Work Safe okay, BC, British. the provincial health and safety agency, posted a summary of the event on YouTube. A summary steel caisson event. had been installed to hold back soil while the lift station could be constructed. One worker on the site was suddenly pulled into a sinkhole when the bottom of the well, caisson blew good. out. The cause of the incident was related to groundwater within the soils below the site. We don't all have to live in fear of the ground opening Holy up. Holy shit, that's a big one. Engineers who design subsurface structures do have to consider the impact that groundwater can have. The solutions to subsurface problems are almost always hidden from public view, so you might never even know they're there. This yeah, video probably not. To shed some light on those invisible solutions, including what could have been done to prevent that incident in BC. I'm Grady, and this is Practical Engineering. Grady. In today's episode, we're talking about how groundwater affects structures. Oh yeah, he's the one that does these things with the water. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, he's pretty fucking dope. This video sponsored by Hello Fresh. We've seen America's a couple of his one vids. Tip. More on that later. More on that later. Gotta love that. Groundwater has always been a little mysterious to humanity since it can't easily be observed. It also behaves much differently than surface waters like rivers and oceans, sometimes defying expectations, as I've shown in a few of my previous videos. One of the okay, most okay. important places where groundwater shows up in civil engineering is at a dam. That's because groundwater dam. flows from high pressure to low pressure, and a dam at its simplest is just a structure that divides those two conditions. And what do you know, I've That's got an true. acrylic box in my garage full of sand to show these concepts in real life. You can imagine this soil sits below the base of a dam, and I can adjust the water levels on either side of the structure to simulate how groundwater will flow. Blue dye placed in the sand helps show the direction and speed of water movement below the surface. A higher level on the upstream side creates pressure, driving water in the subsurface below the dam to the opposite end of the model. I'll be the first to say it, this is not the most mind-blowing revelation. <laughs> you probably could have predicted it without the fancy model. But to a civil engineer, but it's this still is cool not and an good inconsequential to know. phenomenon, and for a couple of reasons. First, water seeping below a dam can erode soil particles away, yeah. a phenomenon called piping. Obviously, you don't want part of your structure's foundation to be stolen from underneath it. And piping can create a positive feedback loop where failure progresses rapidly. I have a whole video on piping that you can check out after this one. Maybe the we can. The negative effect of groundwater is less obvious. <laughs> you said fact, fuck him until personally. Until around the 1920s, dam engineers didn't even take it into account, leading to the demise of many early structures. That in sounds history. about right. The engineering of a dam is largely an exercise in resisting hydrostatic pressure. Water in the reservoir applies an enormous force to the upstream face of a dam, and if not designed properly, that force Yoink. can cause the dam to slide downstream or overturn. The hydrostatic force is actually pretty simple to approximate. Pressure in a fluid increases with depth, so you get a triangular distributed load. Once so that's you know why that they're the load, opposite shape. You can shape. design a structure to resist it. Right. And there are a lot of ways to do that. The problem the is the thing he's talking about where it then goes under that part and all of a sudden moves it around dam just uses its own weight for stability gravity dams are designed to be heavy enough that hydrostatic forces can't slide them backwards or turn them over but to the dismay of those early engineers pressure from the reservoir is not the only destabilizing force right. on a dam take a look at this pipe i've included in the model that shows the water level between the two boundaries if the base of a structure was below the water level shown here Ugh. the groundwater would be applying pressure to the bottom counteracting its weight we call this uplift pressure. Uplift pressure. Remember that the okay, only reason okay. gravity dams stay put is because of their weight. So you can see how having an unanticipated force effectively subtracting some of that weight would be a bad thing. That Many would be a bad thing. Many gravity dams have failed because this uplift force was neglected by engineers, including the St. Francis Dam in California that killed more than 400 people when it collapsed. Ooh, that's not good. Lapsed in 1928. Many consider this to be the worst American civil engineering disaster of the 20th century. Unlike the hydrostatic force of a reservoir, uplift Ugh. pressure from groundwater is a much more complicated force to characterize. Okay. It exists in the interface between the structure and its foundation, in the cracks and pores be, of the underlying be, soil, be stretching. and even within the joints of the concrete structure itself. The flow of groundwater is affected by soil properties, the geometry of the dam, the water levels upstream and downstream, and even the subsurface features. 
How these <laughs> factors affect the uplift pressure can be pretty challenging to predict, but engineers do have to predict it. After all, we can't build a dam, measure the actual uplift force, and add weight if necessary. Yeah. It's gotta work the first time. That is one true. Okay, so one thing I wanted to say, there's something about the way that he talks that it's almost like a calling it a Disney character is a little is definitely overstepping it, but there's like some sort of like up up and upping or like inflection that like he just sounds like so happy when he's talking. <laughs> I don't know how to describe it. He just sounds very happy and positive. Almost like a... Like the best teacher you've ever had as a child in an elementary school where you're just like, everything they say is just... They're just so happy. And that went, today, class, we're learning about this and that. You know, it's just like, okay, yes, tell me more. <laughs> yes. I don't know. It's nice. I don't know how the... How are they supposed to measure... I guess that's what he was talking about. I was thinking, like, how are they supposed to measure how much of... How much underwater ground... How much underground water there is, or ground... Whatever. Ground water? How are you supposed to measure it? Can you do, like, a... A deep core into the ground in a couple different points or something? I, I guess now maybe they could do that or like some sort of radar type of thing. LIDAR, whatever. But how did they do it before? Characterize groundwater flow know. around structures is the flow net. This is a graphical tool net. used by engineers to estimate, estimate the, volume the volume and pressure of, pressure of seepage of in the subsurface. In simple terms, you divide the flow area into a curvilinear grid where one axis represents Curve pressure the and the other flow. represents flow. Curvilinear? That, that, I mean, I guess that's a word. I've never heard that word. Are you, so, so RPB's a Tom Tom Scott hater? That dis goes and dislikes every video. A pretty challenging force and groundwater flow around structures is the flow net. This is a graphical tool used by engineers to estimate the volume and pressure of seepage I just want to hear him say it again. In simple terms, you divide the flow area into a curvilinear grid, curvilinear. where one axis represents pressure and the other represents flow. If this looks familiar, you might notice that a flow net is essentially a 2D solution to the Laplace equation, which also applies to other areas. Ah, uh, yes, of course, the Laplace equation. Why don't you like them? Areas of physics, including heat flow and magnetic fields. Developing flow nets is almost an art as much as a science, so it's probably a good thing that groundwater problems are mostly solved using software these days. But we can still use flow nets to demonstrate a few of the ways engineers combat this nefarious uplift force on gravity dams. And one common idea is a cutoff wall. If water flowing below a dam causes so many problems, why not just create a vertical wall to cut it off? We do it all the time. But how well, then doesn't just then you go down below that one? How deep does it need to be? Some dams might have a convenient geological layer into which a cutoff can be terminated, creating an impenetrable envelope to keep seepage out. But many don't. Cutoff walls can still reduce the volume of flow and the pressure, even if seepage can still make its way underneath. Let's take a look at the model to see why. I've okay. added a vertical wall of acrylic below the upstream face of my dam, and hmm. we'll see how it affects the flow. The groundwater flow lines adjust to go under the wall and back up right. to the other side of the model. If you look closely, you'll see a slight decrease in the uplift measurement pipe below the dam. The only thing I changed between this model and the last one was adding the cutoff wall. So why would the pressure decrease on the downstream side? Oh, he's going to show us. I wanted to think about it for a moment. British and smart. The flow of groundwater is described with a fairly simple formula known as Darcy's Law. Besides the permeability of the soil, the only other factor controlling the speed water flows is the hydraulic gradient, which consists of the difference in pressure over the length of a flow path. By okay. adding a cutoff wall, I didn't change the difference in pressure between one side of the model and the other, but I did increase the length of the flow path water had to take below the dam, this has got to go down the hydraulic and gradient. I can sketch a flow net over the model to make this clearer. The black lines are equipotentials. They connect areas of equal pressure. The blue lines show the directions of flow. 
Without a cutoff, the flow paths are shorter and thus the equipotential lines are closer together. With a cutoff wall, the equipotential lines are spread out. That means both the volume of seepage and the uplift pressure at the base of the structure have been reduced. Look at that. Cutoff walls on dams have a long history of use, and nearly all large gravity dams have at least some kind of cutoff. It can be as simple as excavating a wide area of the dam's foundation before starting on construction. And that's a popular choice because it gives engineers a chance to observe the subsurface conditions and make sure there are no faults or problems before the dam gets built. Smart. Another option is to excavate a deep trench and fill it with grout, concrete, or a slurry of impermeable clay. For smaller or temporary structures, sheet piles can be driven into the subsurface to create a cutoff. One final option is to inject high-pressure grout to create an impenetrable curtain below the dam. The other way to deal with seepage and uplift pressure are drains. Drains installed below a dam do two important jobs. First, they filter seepage using sand and gravel so that soil particles can't be piped out from the foundation. Second, they relieve uplift pressure by removing the water. Let's see how this works in my model. Upstream of my uplift monitor, I've added a hole through the back of the model with a tube to drain seepage out. Instead of flowing all the way downstream, now some of the seepage flows up to and through the drain. And you can see this in the streamlines of dye flowing in the subsurface. Again, the effect is subtle, but the uplift pressure monitor is showing a slight decrease in pressure compared to the original configuration. There's less pressure on the base That's of the smart. dam than there would be without the drain. Plotting the flow net over the model, you can see why it behaves this way. The drain relieves the uplift on the base by creating an area of low pressure below the dam. You can also note that the drain actually increases the hydraulic gradient by shortening the flow paths, so there's actually more seepage happening than there would be without the drain. However, because the drains are installed with filters to reduce the chance of piping, that additional seepage is often worth the decrease in uplift pressure. Many concrete dams include a row of vertical drains into the foundation, and some even use pumps to depress the groundwater level further, minimizing the uplift. I can simulate this by lowering the downstream level as if a pump was removing the water. Watch how the flow lines adjust when I make this change in the model. Like drains, these relief wells create more seepage below a dam because of the greater difference in pressure between the two sides, but they can significantly reduce the uplift pressure and thus increase a structure stability. I've been using dams as the main example of managing groundwater flow, but lots of other structures have similar issues. Retaining walls and temporary shoring have to contend with groundwater challenges. Shit. Well, first of all, I said, are you ready for the quiz? And then second, I said, if you hate him because he's British and smart, what about this guy? He's smart. Just including caissons, which are watertight chambers sunk into the earth to hold back soil during construction. Oh, Remember yeah, the, the worker. worker I mentioned in the intro? He was on a site near a caisson. It's typical to dewater a structure like this, meaning the water is pumped out, creating a dry area for construction crews to work. Let's take a look at how this works in the model. I'm simulating the act of pumping water out of the caisson by draining out of the model at the bottom of the structure. When a caisson is dewatered, it's essentially working like a There's something like a satisfying about watching these things move separating an area of high pressure from low pressure within only a short distance between them. And as you know, distance matters when it comes to groundwater because the shorter the flow paths, the greater the hydraulic gradient, and right. thus the higher the volume and velocity of seepage. If you look closely, you can see the Ooh, sand boiling up as the seepage exits the soil into the bottom of the caisson. That's this cool. elevated pressure in the subsurface and high velocity of flow means that the soil particles themselves aren't being strongly Whoa. held together. All it takes is a little agitation for the soil to liquefy cool. and flow into the bottom of the caisson, creating a sinkhole and the dirt that just comes easily upwards. swallow anything Dude, else. that's cool. I don't know. Maybe that's... Lame, but I, that's One way neat. of mitigating this hazard is dewatering the soil outside the caisson. Construction crews use well points, small evenly spaced wells and pumps to draw water out of the soil so it can't seep to areas of lower pressure. Caissons can also be driven deeper into the subsurface, creating a condition similar to a cutoff wall on a dam. They can even go deep enough to reach an impermeable layer, creating a better seal that prevents right, water like from flowing into the bottom. Or whatever. Thankfully for that worker in BC, his colleagues were able to rescue him before he was consumed by the earth.
Dude, why would you say it like that? That's so much creepier. Consumed by the earth? Next time you see a dam, retaining wall, caisson, or any other subsurface construction, there's a good chance that engineers have had to consider how groundwater will affect the stability. Even though you never know they're there, some combination of drains and cutoffs were probably installed to keep the structure and the people around it safe and sound. Speaking of sounds, here's the peaceful sound of a napping toddler while my wife and I prepare a home-cooked meal from the sponsor of this video. Hello, Fresh. Yourself at Hello Practical. Oh my God, he's a family YouTuber now. I can't believe it. Kidding. No, that was good. That was a uh, the last one where he did the thing where he like mixed up and then the ground went up was the coolest part to me. I don't know why. Something about that was just. Is the reason you don't like Tom Scott? And I don't think he's like, you know, an amazing person or anything, but. Some of the videos he do are neat. Is it that you feel there's like an air of pretentiousness or like, uh. taking itself too seriously or something? I do think he's a bit of a weird guy. Not weird, just more awkward than, like, if you only watch his videos, you would, you would think he's, like, a pretty, um, serious guy and confident, well, not confident, some of the more late recent videos, but maybe, I guess, if you went to, like, more of the, some of the older videos before, where he didn't have, before he had a second channel. Like, it was very, like, calculated and, and whatnot. But some of the more recent ones, and then I think there is a second channel, though I don't think I've actually watched anything on the second channel. He's a not-confident guy that is kind of awkward, and like everything else. Like any, like any other engineer-type person you would expect. He, or even more than that, I don't know, he was a little awkward. I'm sure he's a, he's a nice guy, he seems like a nice guy, but... He was like, uh, he was definitely afraid of heights, I'll say that much. I don't, I don't know if it would be fair to say, I can see why some people would get the vibe he's pretentious, I don't know if he is or not. I can see why some people would think that though. Though I also will admit, it seems like he puts a lot of effort. Traveling to lots of places, doing research, etc. Though I'm sure he has a team, right? But. That said. It's, uh. We're halfway through, right? Unless I end early, I suppose, but. I don't have any more spooky games ready, is what I'm sort of getting at. But, Italian AF. Look at the tree bridge. Why am I scrolling on Twitter? That's never a good idea. <laughs> Why am I scrolling on Twitter? Let's get the Patriots score. Game's probably over or close to over, right? It's 24 to 24? 24 24 tie game? Hold on. Hold on, hold on. Let me pull up on a side monitor here. A little something, something. A little play by play. Oh, we actually had a lead at one point? Hey. Twenty-four twenty-four. There's a flag on the field. <laughs> Wait a minute. 
There's a flag on the field. I don't even know who has the ball right now. Because it's the ref giving a f signal. Um, okay, so... Do you have any particular opinion? Would you also be opposed or not opposed to ending early? I'm kind of still recovering from the dizziness, I'm not gonna lie. I'm trying to think what would be a good game that I could play with the dizziness. Dream face reveal. I don't care about that. Minecraft shit. Either way, I'm launching Steam. So that'll take a little moment. The Packers have the ball. They're on the Patriots 40 yard line. It's a run. Two yada, three yada at most. Playing RS, I don't care. Took a nap earlier. Dude, I, I slept for the longest I have in a long time. Well, that's not true. I got out of bed at the latest that I have for a long time. And that was 9 o'clock. <laughs> because one, I didn't fall asleep until like midnight. And then two, like I said, I had the throat thing. So I like tried to stay in bed longer. I don't know. If, I don't think I really got much extra sleep out of it. But I like kept trying to go back to sleep. Or just general resting. Um, so yeah, that was a thing. Wait, a, a ball was dropped? I'm looking away for 20 seconds. So what? So I remember you saying you felt like there wasn't that much left in RuneScape. Like you did a bunch of stuff already. I don't know if that's true or not. Maybe I mis misinterpreted. I could certain could certainly have been the case. Excuse me. Artie's playing Puyo Puyo, Puyo Tetris 2? I could see him being a Puyo Puyo guy. There's plenty left to do? Oh, okay. Alright, big play here. Third and eight. They gotta get like five, six yards to be in a field goal range. You got scary music playing. There's the there's the long bomb, and he's definitely catching that shit. And they're getting the touchdown, and we're losing. Yeah, that was a yeah, yeah. Touchdown Packers! Touchdown Packers! Wait, what? Wait, what? Wait, why are we celebrating now? What happened? Hold on. He dropped it on the ground and then kind of did a little sneaky sneak move to make it look like he caught it. Wait a minute. That's not a catch. We're, they're on four and eight and they're out of field goal range. Are they going to go for it? Oh, uh-oh. Bill Belichick yelling at the ref. Oh, he's slamming headsets and everything. The play clock was reset. There's no reason for it to be reset. Bill is popping off, dude. Green Bay Packer challenges the call on the catch on incomplete pass for the touchdown. It's getting spicy, RPP. That's all I'm saying. It's getting spicy. Maybe in that case, we do like 10 minutes of showdown here during the end of the game. That way, I'm at least doing something. Maybe we do that for a moment then. I don't think they're giving him that catch, though. I think that would be a little, little crazy. I think that would be a little egregious, even. Alright, alright. 
Is there like a spooky uh <laughs> OM of the month, Revelation Month, Tag Team Singles, other meta months, back tag team months. There should be a uh spooky Halloween uh ladder <laughs> for the month. The pass is called off. It is not complete. Get wrecked. Let's do a random like gen. I'm not. I don't know gen three. Let's just do gen four. Let's stick to what we know. They're gonna go for the punt. The Packers gotta punt it. That was a huge play. This is not a good start. There's no way I can stay in. Um, sludge bomb, nasty plot, da 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 da. Hit one lead, da 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 da. So these are all weak. This low king. This is also weak if he has ice beam, which he probably has. So I probably gotta go this or Sableye. Um. Yeah, and that's why I didn't go to what's her name. Now I'm worried about. I'm most concerned about uh, a toxic coming out here, but Slowking doesn't usually run it, right? Brick room. Um, I guess I'm reflecting. Like I don't even know what to do with this. Oh, that was a bad, bad one for us. Okay. Hmm. If I go to this, it's still faster, so I should probably go Crobat then. And then we got a Heat Wave. Probably just gonna go back to Slow King to be honest, but we gotta give it a try. Brave Bird? When I have double screens up? You crazy. Burn? Burn would have been height. Now they're prob they're not switching. That's an interesting decision. I don't feel like that helped you at all, but okay. Thing is I can't really stay in and uh and now you're slower, so I don't I think they're switching. But I'm a I'm a heat wave anyway. Maybe I get a burn. Burn? No burn. We kind of gotta go back to Uxie, but Uxie doesn't do any damage anymore. So I'm thinking we go Sableye. We still got screens up. He trick rooms. I am slower, but let's toxic in case they stay in. Because if they go to Skarmory, then I can just. Haunt, because I'll be faster because of Trick Room. That's fine. Get no, I needed that shit to hit. No, come on. I needed that shit to hit, man. What the fuck? I think he's gonna. S well, that's just toxic. If they even if they go to Skarmory, it's still not even bad at all. <laughs> Let's skip this song. Is that a crit? It was not. But that was annoying. Um. Kind of feel like I gotta stay in it. Well, if they're gonna surf, then I can do this. Actually, no, I can't, because he's gonna ice beam. Yeah, that was probably a bad idea. That was a bad idea. Yep. Yep. Miscounted. I kind of deserve to lose now. I'm just gonna nightshade. I know I'm faster. That's gonna kill. 
now they're gonna bring in something faster. They know like my whole team, which is the main problem. Uh, I will taunt. <laughs> I will taunt. Now you can't really do anything but X scissors. So probably time to bring in Robat. Resist that. Sir. Then we sludge bomb. Thing is, both are kind of not great. If he brings in the slow king, so. Also, them having rocks and me not obviously stinks. There's the slow king as expected, but they can't baton pass, so it's kind of like well. Now the question is, do they do what they did before? There's the trick room. Definitely gonna light screen. Light screen's like the only way. Have a chance. Um, I guess I'm gonna thunder wave. I'm gonna reflect. The curses are coming. Now we gotta go hit Monly. Now we gotta get our tags going. We gotta do as much as we can. This thing's gonna have rest as the problem. We uh, still doing enough though. And that's gone, so now we do this. He could have quick attack, but... I don't know if the crit mattered, that's the thing. It's like, we got reflect, we got all these things, I can't really tell. It's tricky. It's a tricky situation. I think we do this. Reflect, maybe, maybe leave in this turn. Psychic's still okay. They don't know what I have as my last move, so. Look like we might be going into overtime for the Patriots. I, I feel like I had to try for it. I feel like I kind of had to try for it. Maybe I didn't. I don't know. We don't know what the last two are, right? We still got one turn of Reflect. Okay. So now the question is, do I switch? I think I do. I think I gotta. I'm pretty sure I'm losing. This slow bro is like unkillable, so. That's good for me that he did that. That is a good thing for me. I can roost. I think I gotta, yeah. You know they're passing. What are they passing to though? Last time, I almost went with the heat wave. I hopefully don't have to regret that. Miss Magius, okay. That is not great. I don't know what I'm supposed to do against that. Ah, I see. <laughs> I am going to die. <laughs> I'm gonna die. Okay. Yeah. 
probably die into this. Probably die into this one. I mean, we can't live two attacks, so we just have to outrage, I think. Okay. I don't think the crit mattered, but maybe. He's, he should go ninjask here and X scissor. Our man. Or woman. Protect. I guess that is the smarter of the two. Where's to go? Lumberry's gonna stop me for a moment, so that's fine. I guess I Stone Edge? I know I have Stone Edge, but again, it also doesn't really matter. I mean, I suppose he could, like, substitute ex X's, or Baton Pass substitute, or substitute protect, substitute protect, hope that I miss, but... I mean, all he's got to do is pass to Slow King. I, I've, like, considered Swords Dancing to, like, prote predict one of these types of moves, but... I just gotta believe in the Swords Stone Edge here. I'm outraging now. I think he might pass. Oh! Oh. You're not what I wanted to see. <laughs> You're not what I wanted to see. I thought you were going to go Slow King. Slow King was too much of a problem. It was one mistake, but I don't think it would have done enough. Okay, it's a tie game. We're doing an overtime flip. The only mistake, obviously, being switching in uh, Leafy on too early. But it was a big one. I still think their team kind of worked well against me, but there's certainly avenues for winning. It was certainly Avenue. So there's that. Real happy about fucking losing again. Is there any ranked game I can get some good stuff going? <laughs> Mario Maker, Pokemon, just fucking nothing. Fucking nothing. Belt Rock on Mammo. Feel like he's gonna calm mind or something. Okay, that's pretty good. Um, I mean, Ice Punch is good there. I don't think if I should Swords Dance or not. Dragon Pulse, huh? Okay, okay. I don't know. Like, if I Swords Dance, I kind of have to pass to a different guy. Yeah, sure. Let's pass now because he's probably going to Stealth Rock. Wait. I don't have Baton Pass? The fuck? Why don't I have Baton Pass? <laughs> I'm actually, like, tilted. 
Okay, that actually is funny. Um, do this again, I guess. Obviously, the rocks are bad against Ninjas. I almost ice beam too. I mean, I'm steel type. I'm just gonna surf again. Yeah, like, I'm a steel type, bro. I'm a damn steel type, yo. Now, probably switching out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. You. Proton's probably okay. Right? I mean, slacking's probably good too, but. I would like to get rocks out, but <clears throat> I also don't want Mammoth to die to like a water move. Just going straight to the exit there. Uh, of course, it's a mixed one. Do you think it's weird that Netflix and other services make series about serial killers? Uh, yeah, it's kind of weird. It's a bit weird. I think I have to to Earthquake instead of anything else. <clears throat> Giratina being faster than Napoleon is a problem. A Deoxys, that's not great. I mean, Ninjask is good against that, I guess, but I'm gonna get rocks hitting me. So... I mean, they haven't done anything too interesting otherwise. I'm hoping he switches here. Okay. I mean, I guess that works too. I kind of just have to leave him in now, which is annoying. It's also annoying that his attack was by 0.25 and it was still enough to almost kill. That's kind of dumb. <clears throat> and now this just dies, which is not great. I shouldn't have done that. I just don't want to play this game anymore. Can't imagine being a family member of one of the victims. You don't get any cut of the money. Yeah. I mean, even without the cut of the money, there's always been the issue with like people doing bad things and then it getting on the news all over, plastering their face and their pictures and everything else. I feel like that shouldn't do... <laughs> I don't know, they had like 0.5 attack or something and it still did that 40%. I just don't see how I win from here. Well, I do, but I don't, of course. Of course. I just, I have to Earthquake, because they can just switch to the other thing. I didn't kill, okay. Very cool. Likely to lose to Giratina here. I feel like this should not have been a game I lost. Interesting. Surf will definitely one shot. I like almost want to agility, but it's too risky, I think. I don't know what I could possibly do to win. They will a wisp or something. And then I don't kill with Ice Beam? Wow, not even close, okay. Not even fucking close. Yeah, I don't. Like, why can nothing just go my way? <laughs> fucking ever. But okay, hold on. The Patriots have a chance. Against the Green Bay Packers? We're like 15 yards away from field goal range? 
Okay, that was a decent run, decent run. Yeah, the weird thing about the Netflix thing is, like... Yeah, I don't know, it's just like I said, whenever there's, like, a serial killer or a mass shooting or whatever it is, and then the news is a lot of the time plasters their face, their name, tries to recharge all they can about them to then tell people about them, sort of to make them basically famous, which is part of the reason some of these psychos do it, is to be famous. Well, that was not a good run. And then, in this case, the Netflix thing is even weirder because it became like a TV series or whatever it is. So then that's like, it's weird. I don't know how you're supposed to deal with that. I feel like you gotta at least give somehow some sort of compensation to the people whose lives were fucking ruined. Because otherwise it just feels gross, doesn't it? Like, it's a compelling story and all these other things because serial killers are a weird scenario and blah blah blah. But, like, these were real people? <laughs> I don't know. It's weird because in some sense you could say any World War II movie is in some fashion, right? Have sent, Have some connections to that as well. I don't know if uh, one series that I think maybe did a good job. I actually don't know if there was compensation, but for Band of Brothers, for example, like they talked to the guys that the show was about <laughs> and even had them appear on the show like in a post, you know, like in a credits type of thing. I don't know if they got any compensation or not, but definitely different than the Netflix thing, that's for sure. Oh God, oh God, he's panicking, he's panicking. And it's non-intercepted, but okay. That was scary. That was fun. He he fucking panicked so hard though. Really, just don't want to do another showdown. I just feel like it's cursed. I feel like I'm cursed right now. It's like, I really wanted to get rocks up, but costed the entire mammoth swine, which probably wasn't worth it. And I would have liked to save. I guess it didn't really matter. I guess you probably needed to use... And my, my thought process was that the ice beam from Empoleon was going to be better than the ice punch from slacking, but that doesn't really make sense, probably. Probably better to do the ice punch. The problem, like I guess what I was thinking was, if the ice punch doesn't one shot, then you do nothing for a full turn. If the ice beam doesn't one shot, then you can at least ice beam again. The switch to the crawdon was like, not great, I guess, either. I don't know. I was thinking the X scissor that like kind of worked, but. It felt like everything was squishy that I wanted to switch to, or it was like, oh, I could switch to Mammo, but it's a Sharpedo, which can use a water move, which is super effective, or whatever. <laughs> or, you know, effective. And he, from what I, I don't think he has good special defense. Unless it was a Waterfall, I guess, or Aqua Jet. But he was mixed, right? He did, like... I don't know, I think he was mixed. Usually Sharpedos are either mixed or pure physical. They're usually not pure special. Packers. But okay, now the Packers got the ball. Still 24 24, 6 45 on the clock. They're like at their own 10 yard line, so they got a ways to go. They got a ways to go. Do you want, do you ha even have Netflix RPV? Actually, I gotta go to the bathroom. I'll be back.
came back. You have Netflix through your brother. Okay, okay. They, uh, I believe there is a, um, I forget what it's called, but I forget the exact name. But there was a thing that came out, uh, Pokemon. It's like Arceus, Pokemon, something, something, something. And it's like almost like an alternate universe or like time. Tra I don't know. It, it sounded interesting, and I think it's on Netflix now. I think it's like an hour long, give or take. Brock, Brock takes off his shirt, apparently, again. Oh, over the middle, and that's a first down. So, I'm just saying, if that's something that interests you. Something to consider. Now the question is, do I go again? Okay, one more, one more, one more. Come on, get! I gotta get a win. Surely I can get a win, right? Packers are like 10 yards away from a field goal range. A little scary. They almost ran out of time, okay. That was like a five, six yard pass. That's not good. Mm, the search is taking a while, which is scary. The spooky song is kind of fitting. All right, apparently we're not doing that, I guess. <laughs> this is just a match doesn't want to be found. I don't know. I don't know what to make of that. Oh, God, they're like three yards away. And they're in field goal range now. So that's probably the, the game for the Patriots Packers. I mean, they need to hit the field goal kick, but it seems pretty likely that they can do that. Seems pretty likely they can make that kick. I think... Hmm. I'm not gonna lie, I kinda wanna end early. Because my throat is starting to kinda hurt more. <laughs> like, uh, I don't wanna be that guy, but... It is starting to... Kinda hurt. And... We didn't have any extra stuff planned. Like, I probably would end up having to, like, sap or Mario Maker or, or continue Unity games where we left off, but. Yeah. It would give me more time to get stuff done, I guess. We're just chilling and watching, doing RS anyway, right? I think it's just you and me here anyway. I think that's probably the better thing for me to do for my health. <laughs> I, I've been trying to drink water, but yeah, I can kind of I can kind of still feel it starting to when you drink water, but it still feels dry anyway, kind of thing. You know what I mean? <clears throat> Is not ideal. Playing mobile and watching. I didn't know that our RuneScape was on mobile. I mean, it's not, I suppose, that surprising because the game's kind of simple, but I figured the game's so old that maybe it would have been problematic trying to make it transferred onto mobile. Right? Yeah, throat stuff does suck. It's definitely way better than yesterday. I think by tomorrow it'll probably be 100%. Right now I'd say it's like 85-ish, somewhere around there. My back is also probably in the 75 to 80 range. It's not 100%. Like certain movements and stuff, I'll still end up feeling it. It's 
definitely way better than last week. Or even like five days ago, four days ago. But it's not 100%. Basically, everything's going wrong. <laughs> everything's going wrong, but it's also kind of healing, but I don't know. It's a process, I suppose. The only thing that was disappointing about the apple picking, I, I'm just jumping topics, is that uh, my dad, we didn't have a, like a, usually we have a thing where it's like a stick, not a stick, it's like a handle, it's like a pipe, a whatever, some sort of dowels, you know, shaped object, and then the end, you tape like a empty two liter or like a fairly large water bottle, not a normal size. And you like cut a hole in the side of it and then you tape the end like the the drinking spout part to the top of the stick and then it's a perfect like apple picker for the high parts of the tree but we didn't have that to work with um so m that's usually where all the big ones are because normal people can pick the ones at the height of normal people but then the big ones are left up top that people can't pick and then, and then you usually get them through that which is height but I was not able to do that. So, most of the ones I got were... I still did, like, I, you know, I got my eagle eye. So, I got some pretty big ones. But, um... Compared to, like, if you just went up and grabbed one. Most of the ones I got were bigger. But, definitely not all. Not humongous. Humongous. Not humongous. <laughs> so... I don't know, yeah. What variety? <laughs> I got Golden Gal Delicious and Gala Apples. AKA the same ones that I get in grocery stores. <laughs> there was others, but it was, you know, Cortland, Macintosh, Red Delicious, etc. But... I tried, there was a couple that, there was one that I think I've heard or seen before, but I don't think I tried, which was Ozark Gold. And I tried that, it, and it just felt really watery. It didn't feel like it tasted like anything. Maybe I got a bad one. And then there was one called, actually, I should look it up. Jonah Mac Apple? I... Yeah, a... a this. I'll type it out. A Jonah Mac. Jonah Mac? Jonah Mac? I tried that. It was actually really sweet. Apparently, Google says it's a cross between a Jonathan and a Macintosh apple. I didn't even know a Jonathan apple was a thing. But it was pretty tasty. It was very sweet. I didn't really like the skin of it. It, it was kind of like... Not, not Omega waxy, but it, I don't know. It was a little eh. But the inside was very sweet and kind of nice. It was tasty. But they were all very small and there was also workers picking in already. So I, I don't know. Um, yeah, I don't know. It was it was a good time. I, I feel like maybe this is a uh, being younger, everything feels longer. But I felt like when I was younger, we would take a lot more time and pick a lot more apples. We definitely picked more apples before than we do now. Like, no one in my family besides me <laughs> picked apples. Some people would pick some and, and eat some there, but like, in terms of the apples we bought, I was only my apples. Cousins and stuff had their own as well, but for as far as like me, myself, my mom, my dad, my brother, only my, my 10 apples. No one, no one else wanted any apples. Or everyone already had, I don't know. It was, uh, it was something. It was a thing. But yeah, Patriots just lost, so that sucks. Obviously, I didn't watch most of the game, but... Wah, wah, wah. Disappointing. Disappointing end. Um, I don't know if there's anything else in mind I had in mind, but I 
think, um... I don't think there's anything else from the Apple Day stuff. They have these really... Uh... Delicious apple... Apple cider, whatever, donuts. They've won many awards for them over the years, I think. I did have one. I will admit I had one. And it was as good as always. Look, once a year, okay? Give me a break. Tell me some schlack. I woke up at like 6 a.m. to do a bike workout before leaving to go there. I think I deserved myself a singular donut. It's not even like a, it's not like it's a giant donut. It's 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 if anything, it's on the smaller side. So credit to me. But it was so good. It was so good, dude. It was delicious. <laughs> this is a good song. Maybe we'll end with this one then. It's like four minutes long, but whatever. Yeah, I think I'm just, I think I'm kind of pooped. Throat is not perfect. Not even not perfect, but it's like declining. We did the two of the spooky games that I had in mind. I think there's a Steam game or two that is like semi-spooky, that maybe that can go on the list, that I already have. And then there's the ROM hack that I need to figure out. Or it might be multiple ROM hacks, depending, but... Anyway, I think those... There's definitely stuff planned, I just need to be able to actually like test them, which is hard because I'm still trying to maintain there's a lot of other things in life right now, so... Especially with all the fucking brokenness of my body and lack of health insurance to actually check most of it. So yeah, it's a whole thing, I guess. Tomorrow will be pad, which I know you're not excited about. So that'll be a thing. And then Wednesday... Rob... Wednesday I would like to have tested the ROM hack by then and get that going. I think that would be ideal. I might, uh, I'm probably not going to be continuing the video every day thing. Just because now there's no more pad stories to put in between sap videos. So, that will probably decline. Not that that really affects you, but, um, yeah, probably will decline that. Maybe, like, two or three videos a week. Although most of that would be staff, I'm thinking. And then try to fit in, like... Like, I already have a Unity video that's short footage one. If See, the thing about the Unity ones, if it's short footage, then it's not that bad. If it's long footage, then it's really tough. <laughs> tough to make it happen. So, yeah. I also... One thing that's been bothering me is that... Like, I basically haven't been... I used to I used to have a good streak going of like posting clips to Twitter and stuff. I have not been doing that at all. I just feel like I don't know when I can do it. I can't figure it. <laughs> I think the problem is that I want to to go from where I left off instead of just taking like something funny happened stream yesterday. I should take thing from stream yesterday instead of like let me go back to where I left off, which was like fucking eight months ago or whatever, <laughs> six months ago, and look, screen, scroll through a VOD in there for an uptime and see if there's a clip, and then da 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 da. I don't know, maybe that's the approach I have to do. And then in between, I mean, I haven't uploaded anything to TikTok in forever, but that's a different issue entirely, because I'm too scared to upload normal clips to, to TikTok. I've only uploaded the meme stuff. Well, I don't know, we'll figure it out. For now, I think that's it. I think we're packing up. Thanks for hanging out, RPB. Hopefully the scary games were good enough and that I got sufficiently spooked. I mean, there was a couple spooky moments in there. I think it was fine. So I'll see you whenever. The uh, early end, I'm sorry. But, you know, it is what it is. Hey, 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 I stuck around for like 20, 30 minutes and we got to chat about some things. So there's that, right? All right.
Good luck with your wood chopping. Good night.